In this example, we want to find an equation of the line that is tangent to the graph of x squared and parallel to the uh, given equation of the line that you see there. Okay, so the key here is that they want the um, the slope or the tangent the tangent line the slope of the tangent line to the graph is going to be parallel to the line given. Okay. All right. So so that means if you recall, right, um, if two lines two lines are parallel, if they have the same slope. Okay. So we can get the information, right? So we can get the we can get the slope of this line, and whatever the slope of this line is, is going to be the slope of our tangent line. Okay, so we can go ahead and solve this for y, and we end up getting okay, uh, negative y equals to minus four x minus four, and then we can um, divide everything by negative one. So we're going to get y equals to 4x plus 4, okay. okay. All right. Okay, so. Okay, so then from here, uh, we can identify the slope, okay. The slope of this line is 4. Okay, which is here. Okay, so that means the slope of the tangent line is going to be four. Okay, because it's because that tangent line is parallel to the line that's given here. All right, so now, so let's think about this uh, graphically. Okay, so over here, I'm just going to sketch the. Uh, we we'll just take a look at the. Uh, function of x squared. So x squared in general it looks something like this. Okay. Okay. So all right. So what we need to do, okay, we're given we know this the slope of the tangent line is going to be four. So now we need to figure out where or which location that tangent line is going to be. Okay. So to get that information, what we can do is we can take the derivative of our function and set it equal to the slope. Okay, so that's the next step we can do. Okay, so we're going to take the derivative of, of our function and then we're going to set that equal to 4, okay? Okay, so we're going to have 2x. We take the derivative, okay? So we have, okay, uh, just using the power rule. So we're going to take the derivative and set it equal to 4, okay? All right, because remember the derivative of that function Okay, for whichever x value it is, uh, that's going to give you the slope of the tangent line uh, at that particular x value. Okay, so this is going to give us x equals to 2. So that means our tangent line is going to occur at x equals to 2. Okay, and in fact, uh, it's going to occur at 2, 4. Okay, because we can just substitute the function at 2 and that gives us a value of 4. So our tangent line is going to be here somewhere going through 2, 4. Okay. Okay, so now so now we have a point, right? We have we know this tangent line is going through the point of 2, 4 and we know the slope of that line of that tangent line. So that's enough information to give us an equation. Okay, so we can use, okay, so we're going to use, uh, we can go ahead and use the point slope form. Okay, if you want, you can use the slope intercept form also. 
that will give the same result. Okay, so we're going to use this. So the so remember the tangent line is going to the point two four. Okay. Okay, so this is going to be x one, and this is y one. Okay, so we're going to plug that into here along with our slope. So we're going to have y minus four equals to four. Okay, times x minus two. Okay, so then from here we can get uh, we can go ahead and solve for y. So we're going to get four times x minus two plus four, and that will give us four x minus eight plus four, uh, which is four x minus four. Okay, and this is our solution. So that is the equation of our tangent line. That is uh, parallel to the uh, to the line given. Okay.